up everybody Trinity here and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Scout Comics Last Stop Volume 1. This is a graphic novel uh, currently available. I believe it just came available at the uh, here at the end of February of 2020. This book is being written by Trey Walker. The artist is Hoyt Silva and the letterer is Michael Myers and I'll go ahead and show you their names right down there on uh, this uh, book. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about this book and then I'm going to get in probably going to go ahead and spoil this whole story for you. I'll leave a little bit uh, to the imagination. Now, I actually heard of this comic book because what they did was they originally uh, started this off in a, uh, a little thing they do there at Scout Comics called Nonstop, which is, uh, you can see that right there on this, on this uh, issue number one that came out. And what this was, was they call this a world premiere where they basically released, this is like the first chapter of the trade paperback here. They release this first and then you kind of decide if you want to read it and then you go out to your local comic shop and put this on pre-order. And I read the first issue and I went ahead and did that. Now before I get into the story, I want to tell you guys, um, this story right here I will say is, I thought it was it was a fun story, it was a fun book to read when I started reading it. I couldn't put it down. Um, I would say it's probably it's decent for uh, maybe you know younger readers there is some cursing in it but you know like I said younger like you know maybe teenagers um, but I like the story that's going on here now the originality of the story I wouldn't say it's too original because as I start to go through the story you'll see how some of the things sound a lot like some other characters and some other stories by some other publishers and things that we've probably heard in the past. Uh, but that aside, I did enjoy this for what it is because I will say that it kind of reminds me of that movie Last Action Hero. Remember that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where like you watch the movie and it's, it's so full of all the tropes and everything out there and it's a good movie and you're watching it and you're kind of like, I've seen all of this before. But you still watch it because it's still fun, it's still entertaining, and it's still a good movie. You know what I mean? Even though it's doing all those things that you've probably seen before, you know? It just, yeah. So this this book is kind of uh, like that. Now I will say about the art in this book, it's very it's very simple, straightforward. Um, I'll show, I'll show you some of it, the coloring in here. Like I said, one guy did all the work, Hoyt Silva. Uh, I'll say for, uh, it's 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 not a bad job. You know, it, it, to me, it really helps tell the story here where you can see like, you know, it's, it's, it's good, it's interesting. Um, it keeps, you know, like, uh, I, I, I really don't know because the, the story, while it's kind of serious, is also kind of silly at the same time, uh, while not silly, it, I mean, and you can see by the art, it, it, it kind of helps, uh, I don't know, for me, it kind of helps convey that where uh, it seems very basic, you know, like kind of, like I said, kind of like that last action hero feel where you're like, okay, well, you can almost guess what's going to happen next, but, you know, you still want to stay in store for what's going on to see some of the, you know, just some of the things that are going to happen anyway. And that's and that's kind of what we get we get throughout the story. I'll show you uh, a little bit more uh, a little bit more of the art here. As you can see, uh, the art's pretty simple. You know, the, the colors. You know, there's there's not much to it. Um, it. It's pretty simple, and I think that's that that's not necessarily always a bad thing. So, uh, getting into this uh, this story, what it's about is, and here's why I say it's kind of like Last Action Hero too, because it's so full of those tropes is it's about our, our main character here, uh, who is, uh, his name is Lincoln Adams. He is the last of the natural born superheroes. And um, he's basically kind of been, you know, uh, ever since the war, you know, he's the last of his kind, you know, and uh, he's, he's a, a reminder to the world of the old super powered uh, heroes and things like that. And that's kind of that's kind of where it's at, you know. He's just kind of getting old and burnt out. His time has come, you know. He's a man out of time, you know. He he misses the days of the war, you know. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of, you know, it reminds me of those good '80s, '90s kind of um, like action movies, uh, kind of like that. And so uh, his name is un his superhero name is Unstoppable. He's Captain Lincoln Adams. He's part of a team called Fist. F I S T. Yes, it sounds a lot like. Shield from, uh, from Marvel. <laughs> and, um, there's there's a lot more than that. He has a uh, his his commander Mick Might. Uh, even you know kind of looks 
like you know, like a a, a Nick Fury kind of uh, knockoff, if you will. Um, and then also, you know, he's he's like I said, he's leading this team. Uh, here we'll show you Mick Might there, uh, right there. Uh, he's leading this team uh, called Fist, uh, and you know, one of the one of the uh, guy other guys here is uh, what is his name? Uh, Commander. Uh, yeah, is it Commander Ho? No, it's not Commander because he's the, he's he's the captain, the commander. No, yeah. Anyway, anyway, he's one, he's one of the other guys that's under Unstoppable's watch. Well, uh, anyway, so they're they're all uh, they're they're all sitting there after their their latest uh, their latest mission, and Lincoln gets some some news that his uh, he has a tumor in his head, and eventually he finds out that it's gotten worse. He don't have much longer to live, and as uh, as he's there getting his uh, this news, his his commander Mick uh, comes in, and you know they go and they have a little conversation. This is where we get some of those 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 really like action hero kind of things, where he's like, oh, you know, things just aren't the same since the war, and you know Mick's sitting there talking to him, he's like. He's like, well, what are you out there looking for, man? He's like, well, what I'm looking for, it ain't out there anymore. And he's talking about Dr. Black, which is pretty much the reason why Fist had been founded. And as they're sitting there talking, they get called to command. So they, they, they head up uh, to, to the command officer and to the office there. And they see that there is an attack on Clover City, on the Capitol building. It was, you know, exploded. It was, you know, a bunch of people uh, had died, a lot of casualties, and they find out that it was the evil Dr. Black. So this, you know, obviously kind of kicks in, you know, to a little montage where we see, you know, um, uh, Lincoln Adams getting ready for war. You know, he's getting all suited up to go to battle. And he leads his team of fists uh, to, uh, to Dr. where Dr. Black had led him to, which was the first place that they, they had ever met. So that they all sh they all show up there, and uh, Lincoln Unstoppable gets his ass handed to him um, by uh, this uh, unseemingly uh, like foe, uh, this 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 young this young girl to which we don't know uh, who it is, and uh, just really really great stuff here. I like I like the action and everything that kind of goes on here because uh, a lot of this happens right in the very first uh, the, uh, in the very first chapter. This is a six chapter book. And um, then we see uh, what we're issue uh, chapter two starts off at is where Lincoln is sitting there talking to the doctor as the doctor is kind of asking him what happened. And he's and that's where he's telling him, you know, he's got his butt kicked. You can see he's all tore up and where we get into where it kind of flashes back into some of the action of what they were, you know, of where he got his butt kicked and what happened while they were there and kind of the process and everything of how he got his how he got his ass handed to him. And you know he ends up beating this this young girl uh, per, the, pretty easy. They they end up taking her uh, captive, and it comes it comes to find it comes to find out uh, once once they actually stop Doctor Black here that this uh, this this daughter that this this girl that he just stopped is Lincoln's daughter, if you will. It's his clone, you know, kind of like Wolverine, right? In X twenty three, um, he's got he's got superpowers. His bones heal, you know, his body heals and all of that stuff. Kind of like Wolverine, kind of like Wolverine, but he's also kind of like uh, Luke Cage, and you know his, his skin's super tough and all that kind of stuff. I mean, he's un he's unbreakable or yeah un un unstoppable, <laughs> unbreakable. Now I'm thinking of Bruce Willis. So that that's kind of what goes on here. They take they take the, they take the girl back to their headquarters. Uh, they have her restrained, and they're sitting there kind of talking to her, because she's been led to believe her whole life. She was she was uh, Doctor Black had actually uh, made her. She's a clone of Lincoln Adams. Had made her and always basically told her that they are the bad guys. Fists are the bad guys. All these atrocities that have been happening, where he's been going out and um, planning these attacks and killing a lot of people. He always told her that it was them doing it, when in reality it was him. And that's kind of the thing that he, uh, the Dr. Black had told Unstoppable when they were sitting there fighting. So they spend time, they tell her the truth and everything. She starts to give in and they start to train her. Uh, Lincoln starts to train her and things like that. Takes her under his wing because uh, he is, uh, she is his clone essentially. And uh, they... So what they do is they start to formulate a plan to go after Dr. Black uh, to stop him. From killing anyone else. Now, here's the one thing I will say: is we never really learned Doctor Black's motivations, other than wanting to kill people and maybe kill Lincoln Adams. We never really learned any of his uh, his motivations. So they go out after to stop Doctor Black. They infiltrate his base, to which they had a lot of knowledge from um, 
from from Lincoln's from Lincoln's clone here. And so, and man, why can't why can't I remember her name all of a sudden? Um, I want to say I want to say it's Abigail. And um, so they they learn they learn a lot from her about his uh, his his base um, his his lair. And um, um, she she kind of informs him because uh, she was really held captive a lot of times there. And you know, while she wasn't supposed to be, uh, she was a young girl, and she was sneaking around and learning about all the things that he had there at their uh, at, at his headquarters. So she kind of mapped it out and everything, and they planned this attack to go stop Doctor Black. So they go, they go and they infiltrate this base, and they basically they all have to split up in order to stop Doctor Black and save uh, any of the people that are in the building and get the explosives and everything. So in the middle of all of that, what happens is uh, they 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 get split up. The girl, she gets she gets her butt kicked. Lincoln, he gets uh, you know uh, he's he's there uh, facing Doctor Black, and Doctor Black tells him like, "Hey man, like you either save the girl or you say you stop the bombs. What are you gonna do?" And so he ends up. Uh, Doctor Black gets away. They get their asses handed to him. He goes. He saves the girl. They go back to they go back to headquarters, and so they're all sitting there licking their wounds, basically, right? Uh, the girl's healing up. Lincoln's healing up. And so they're sitting there planning their next move when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a surprise attack by Dr. Black. Dr. Black actually goes after them at their headquarters and attacks uh, the Fist headquarters and kind of catches them on the back heels. And that's where, you know, things things kind of go crazy and they, they, they end up uh, fighting Dr. Black. The girl is healed. Lincoln's ready to go. And... They they end up uh, once once the attack happens you know it's all taken by surprise they all kind of they kind of get caught uh, held captive like uh, Mick Mick might and uh, Agent Hill <laughs> yeah <laughs> Agent Hill uh, they get they get away and they're hanging out um, somewhere in basically in like a closet uh, that's got some technology while they're trying to hack into some stuff to make sure to get security protocols in place and everything. Um, they're, they're, so so they're sitting there, you know, start, starting to fight back. Well, Lincoln and um, Abigail, they get they get caught. They have these like little things, these devices on their hands that Doctor Black had created, so they basically can't move. And so they're sitting there, and what they find out is that they've been double crossed by um, General. I think it's General. Was it General General Ho? Um, who was in charge, basically the second in command there at Fist, and he had ba basically been feeding uh, Dr. Black information for years, and he was in on it. So he's sitting there getting ready uh, to kill um, the young girl Abigail, while uh, Dr. Black is sitting there getting ready to, to kill Unstoppable. And it's really great how they, like, again, here, how they kind of tell the story, like, um, where, we see, where we see that they're, go they're going back and forth, um, talking about about the plan and how it's and how it all kind of uh, unfolds here. Uh, I'll see if I can uh, show show you some of these pages because it flashes back and forth just like earlier when Lincoln was talking about uh, his wounds and how and how he had gotten them. Um, I really like how they how they did the storytelling. So the storytelling here is actually pretty cool. Um, the art in here is uh, like I said, it's it's pretty basic. And here, there it is. Uh, you can see some of that right there as they're going uh, Dr. Black to General Ho, going back and forth in this discussion. Uh, really cool stuff. And obviously, you know, the good guys have to win. I'm not going to leave all of that. I'm not going to give all of that away. But we can see, like I said, it follows a lot of tropes out there, characters we've uh, possibly heard of before, storylines we've heard before, tropes, you know, it's, it's very tropey, it follows a lot of that stuff, but it's fun and entertaining. I think you could enjoy this uh, with, uh, with, with your kids or even by yourself. You know, with your kids, I would say, you know, like teenagers, because there's a little bit of cursing in here, nothing too bad. I mean, I curse like a sailor anyway, my kids who are... You know, my oldest is 10. You know, they, they probably heard anything in this book. Um, it's not that bad. They're not sitting there saying the F word or anything like that. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below about Last Stop Volume 1. Again, this is a graphic novel. It all uh, came out after the world premiere issue uh, came out. I want to say it was back in October of 2018. 
But uh, that's all I have for this video today, folks. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning into the Second Street Marvel. If you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed, click the little bell, and you know all that good stuff that YouTube tells me to tell you to do. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. It's all good. I'm not going to look that much into it. Make sure that you share this video with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel. Like I said, guys, let's talk down in the comments below about this book. What do you think about it if you've read it? If not, does it sound like something you agreed? We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.